Hello everyone, it's me, Mr. Tan, once again. How are you today? I hope you are great. And how about your last weekend? Was it good? Awesome. And now, are you ready to start the new lesson with me? Let's go. So, as you can see here, today we are going to learn Unit 10 in the park. And here is the lesson number one. It's about the new words. So students, before we start the new lesson, let's play the game together. And here is the game for you. It's called, let's find the word. So students, look at the screen. How many letters do you think? Of course, nine letters. Now, let's start with the first letter. The first one is I. Next, we have the letter N. And here is the letter T. Can you guess the next letter for me? That's right, H. And here is the letter A. Four more letters. We have P. This one is A. And here is the letter R. And how about the last one? Of course, cake. So student, the word is in the park. So this is also our topic today. Well done. Now, let's start with the new words. This is number one. Student, look at the picture, please. What is it? That's right. So, we have path. Path. Faster. Path. Path. Thank you. Number two. Grass. Grass. Now, let's say faster. Grass. Grass. Awesome. This one. Easy, right? Flowers. Flowers. Now, faster. Flowers. Flowers. Thank you. And how about this one? We have garbage can. Garbage can. Faster. Garbage can. Garbage can. Awesome. How about this picture? And here is the symbol word, I think. We have trees. Trees. Now faster, please. Trees. Trees. And how about this picture? So everybody, fountain. Fountain. Faster. Fountain. Fountain. And this one, we have leader. Leader. Now say faster. Leader. Leader. Okay, so now students, Mr. Tan, I will show you all of the pictures and the words here. So, in total, we have how many words? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's right. In total, we have seven new words. And now, I would like you to listen to the recording. Point to the pictures and repeat. Okay, so there are three things for you. Listen, point, and repeat. That's right. Let's go. Listening 89. Listen and point. Path. Grass. Flowers. Garbage can. Trees. 
fountain, litter, flowers, garbage can, grass, litter, fountain, trees, path. Listen and repeat. Path. Grass. Flowers. Garbage can. Trees. Fountain. Litter. So now, student, let's repeat after me. Grass. Grass. Path. Path. Flowers. Flowers. Garbage can. Garbage can. Trees. Trees. Fountain. Fountain. Leader. Leader. Awesome students. Thank you. And here, let's move on to the story. We are going to read the story together. Let's see. So students, this is the story for you. Now, can you look at the story for me? And how many pictures are there in the story, student? Of course. Easy, right? We have four pictures. So there are four pictures in the story. That's good. Where are the people, everybody? Where are the people? Can you look and tell me the answer? That's right. Thank you. They are in the park. The people are in the park. And what are they doing? What are they doing? Student, who can answer the question for me? Look at the picture one, two, three, and four. What are they doing? So, they are walking, right? In picture number one and number two, they are Walking and number three, number four, they are playing. So, they are walking and playing together. That's right. Thank you. And now, it's time for us to listen to the story. Are you ready to listen? Let's go. Listening 90. Listen and read. This is a beautiful park. Yes, it is. I love it here. Oh, look at the flowers. Holly, you mustn't pick the flowers. Oh, okay. Oh, look at the little trees. You mustn't walk on the grass here, Holly. You must walk on the path. Oh, okay. Holly, let's play with this ball. No, you mustn't play here. Well, let's go to the playground. We can play there. Catch the ball, Max. Oh, oh, Max, you mustn't play in the fountain. <laughs> ha ha, very funny. All right, so that's all about the recording. 
of the story. Now, students, let's repeat after me. Picture number one. Amy, this is a beautiful park. Max, yes, it is. I love it here. Holly, oh, look at the flowers. Leo, Holly, you mustn't pick the flowers. Oh, okay. Picture number two. Holly, oh, look at the little trees. Max, you mustn't walk on the grass here, Holly. You must walk on the path. Holly, oh, okay. Picture number three, Amy. Holly, let's play with this ball. Max, no, you mustn't play here. Amy, well, let's go to the playground. We can play there. Catch the ball, Max. Picture number four, Holly. Oh, Max, you mustn't play in the fountain. Max, haha, <laughs> very funny. Good job, students. Thank you. And now, Mr. Tan, I have an activity for you to do, students. So, look at the story, please. Now, there are some missing words in the story. And I would like you to fill in the blank for me. Write the missing words to complete the story. So, I will give you one minute to look at the pictures and read the words carefully. One minute, go! Okay, so time's up. Now, let's start with the picture number one, students. This is a, of course, beautiful park. So, the students, they are in the beautiful park. And, yes, it is. I love it here. Oh, look at the, look at the, the flowers, right? Holy, you. Pick the flowers, yes or no? Of course not. So you mustn't, you mustn't pick the flowers. Very good. Picture number two. Oh, the little trees. So look at, right? Look at the little trees. You mustn't walk on, on everybody. You mustn't walk on. The grass, that's right. You must walk on, where, where, where? Look at the picture and you can see that. The path, right? All right, you must walk on the path. Picture number three, let's go. Holy, with this ball. So here, let's play, right? Let's play with this ball. Well, let's go to the where? Here we have playground. And we can play there. Must catch the catch the ball. Very good students. And how about the last picture? Picture number four. Oh must. You mustn't play in there. Look at Mas, where is he now? That's right, Fountain. Excellent. You did a very good job, students. Thank you. Now, let's move on to another activity here. Students, you are going to order the pictures for me. Put the pictures in the correct order. Now, Mr. Tan, I will show you all of the pictures here in the story. Now, 
I am going to give you one minute. You should read the words and look at the pictures carefully and write the correct number for the pictures. Which picture is number one, two, three, four? One minute, go. All right, time's up. Now, let's find number one. So students, who can tell me which picture is number one? Do you remember? Of course, this picture is number one. How about number two? Where is it? I did. That's right. Very good boy. Here is the picture number two. And the picture number three in the story is this one. Very good. And how about the last picture? Picture number four is here. Very funny. Thank you, students. And this is the last activity for you. It's about the communicative activity. Okay, so students, you are going to ask and answer the questions relating to the story. This is the first one. Does must like the park, everybody? Can you remember? Remember the picture number one? Does must like the park? Of course, yes, it does. Because it's a very beautiful park. And here, can Holly walk on the grass? Can you think? Can Holly walk on the grass? Yes or no? Is it a good action? No, she must walk on the path. Thank you. And this one. Where can they play? Where can the students play? Remember? They can play in the playground. And how about this one? What can they see in the park, everybody? Do you remember the things in the park? That's right. They can see flowers, trees, paths, playgrounds, and Fountains, excellent. And this one, everybody, are the students happy to play in the park? Do you remember the end of the story? Very funny, right? So, are the students happy? Yes, they are. They are very happy. They are delighted, right? Okay, and now students, this is your homework. The first thing that you need to remember is review the lesson number one in unit 10. The next one for you is finish the worksheet number one, please. So, thanks for listening and watching. I'll see you next time. Goodbye.